Hello everyone, and thanks for watching Fast Track Tutorials. My name is Emil Sligas, I am a senior 3D environment artist, and I will be your instructor in this course. This course will be all about creating destroyed assets for games. These include assets like collapsed ceilings, concrete rubble, broken wood planks and flooring, broken pillars, broken windows and more. For this course, we will be using 3ds Max, ZBrush, Unreal Engine 5, and Substance Painter. However, to make sure that I do not exclude anyone, I also added bonus chapters on how to do the non-universal techniques in Maya and Blender. This means that as long as you have a good understanding of your 3D modeling software, you should be able to follow along with this tutorial course. We will start this course off by going over our reference and planning. This is vital because creating destruction is a very time consuming process. So we have to use the modular workflows and we have to have good planning. After that, we will be creating an entire block out of our level. We do this to make sure that the general shape of all of our destruction is correct before we spend a lot of time creating the final assets. And speaking of final assets, this is what we will be doing after the block out. I made sure to split up this tutorial into separate destruction categories. For example, we will first finish off all the non-destructed modular pieces. Then we will be creating all of our destroyed pillars. After that, we will start with the biggest ones, which is creating our concrete rubble pieces. And then we will move on to creating our destroyed wood flooring. Finally, we will cover how to create rubble textures by simulating objects and turning these objects into a texture. And we will also go over on how to simulate rubble piles like wood and concrete. At this point, we will be done with the real-time parts of our tutorial, and we will have a completely destructed building. As a bonus for after that, I have included a few time-lapse chapters, where we will be going over some level art like placing foliage and extra assets, and taking our scene to final. Now, this tutorial does include a few time-lapses for very repetitive things. However, these time-lapses are also included in real-time, they simply will not have any narration under them. All of the source files are included in this project. However, some of the assets used in the level art time lapses, like the surrounding buildings, trees and cars, are not included as they are from the Unreal Marketplace. With a total of 27 plus hours of video content, this course is considered quite a large course. But I feel confident that at the end of this course, you have the know-how on how to create many different types of destruction for games. This course will also come with auto-generated subtitles in English, Chinese, Russian and Spanish. I hope that you will enjoy this course and I hope that it will have a positive impact on your life. Once again, my name is Emil Sligers and thanks for watching Fast Track Tutorials.